Hello friends! This is a much different angle than you are used to seeing my home studio from and that's because today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about horizontal flowers. There's something I use a lot in my spinning and well this just seemed like the angle for them. Side note, you wouldn't believe how far you have to jump when you're working with a fisheye lens, just saying. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain, and today I am talking about a different kind of poi flower than the one we're used to thinking of, and that requires a little bit different a perspective on the world. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyrotera Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. All right, so I got a request because clearly I feature videos all the time in which I'm doing these horizontal flowers here, both doing them as anti-spin flowers as well as in-spin flowers. And it's one of those things that I kind of took this trick for granted and I didn't think that I really had to make a tutorial on it, but um, I was mistaken. Side note, thank you very much to Cutie Pie Piper for requesting this one because I would not have known that this was a gap in the knowledge that I was putting out there otherwise. So here's the thing, whenever we're working in a horizontal plane, it very clearly uh, works somewhat differently than we're used to because of course when we work in vertical planes, uh, we can go with standard camera angles. When we're working in horizontal planes, by definition, most of what we're doing is kind of hidden. And so that is why you are now getting this video with a camera that is sitting on my ceiling looking down on my living room. Uh, you are definitely getting to see more of my living space than I think anybody should rationally want to have access to. Okay, so let's talk horizontal flowers here because they clearly come in two varieties. We have our in-spin flowers and we have our anti-spin flowers. Now, um, it's the same idea behind both in-spin and anti-spin than it is when we work in vertical planes. Namely, um, as the hands are turning around in a circle, if the poi are going around in the same direction and doing multiple beats for every beat that the hands are doing, well, we would call that an in-spin flower. And if the poi happen to be spinning in the opposite direction that the hands are, we would call that an anti-spin flower. Now, the techniques for learning both of those uh, flowers in wall plane uh, are slightly different, and they are also slightly different when we talk about horizontal planes. So like doing the in-spin version is actually not that tough. Um, if you just kind of like leave your poi underneath your arms and kind of get them spinning around in split time, same direction relative to each other here, you see how they're uh, almost gonna like cross and everything. If I set my hands out to the side and everything and I just walk around in circles, well, you know, that right there is an in-spin flower. But uh, generally speaking, we wanna have a little bit more intentionality in terms of the petals that we're creating with these. Um, me personally, I love creating two petal in spin flowers on a horizontal plane. Um, in spin flowers are great in that we can kind of just let the poi dangle underneath our arms. Um, it, this is almost as much a pendulum as it is uh, a flower. And we can just carry them around with the momentum of the body here. Um, I'll show you some footage of this happening in vertical planes too. So you can see that really um, you're just kind of letting the poi hang there and everything and you can do this with your hands going pretty low or you can do it with your hands going pretty high. Both of these presentations totally work. Of course, if you don't want to dizzy fight yourself, it's really, really helpful to do some spotting. What is spotting? Well, it works like this. I'm going to pick a place that I'm going to land either all the way around in front of me or behind me and I'm going to basically like set my gaze to looking for that point and I'm gonna kind of let my body come around to follow my head as it does that. So as I'm turning around, I'm gonna lock my gaze on that painting behind me and then at the painting that you can't see on the wall in front of me on this side. So I look for the painting, I look for the painting, I look for the painting, I look for the painting. Do you see how I'm keeping my head more or less like stable as my body is uh, kind of uh, pivoting around it and everything there? That's gonna be key. So just as an exercise to start off with this and everything, I'd recommend doing that spotting. So 
look for that place over your shoulder and wind around to get it and see if you can like swing your poi out around and then let them do a little circle underneath your hands when you arrive at that spot. Next, look over your shoulder again and bring yourself around to that point. Over your shoulder, bring around. Over your shoulder, bring around. See if you can spin your poi just once underneath your arms each time you spot a new place. And that will give you your two pedal in spin, at least under the arms. Of course, there's also doing it over the arms, which I'm also a huge fan of. Um, doing it this way requires a little bit more work in that um, you kind of have to maintain a position with your arms that uh, is conducive to keeping the poi in horizontal planes without hitting your arms. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of video of that in wall plane so you can get a feel. Basically what you're looking to do is you're trying to get your hand at eye level or above and you're going to try and keep your poi swinging above that crook in your elbow. Um, the reason for this is, is that you're essentially creating negative space for the poi to move through and that is super duper helpful for making sure that you don't hit either your arm or your head in the process. Um, there's something that I like to kind of refer to as like the scarecrow pose that you do when uh, you're playing around with these kind of positions that is I'm like you know a scarecrow up in a pole and everything and by keeping my hands up high and everything that keeps the poi in the proper position to be able to continue to do these spins around me and not hit my body at all. Um, this is also very, very important for working with anti-spin flowers. In fact, you can't really do horizontal anti-spin flowers with your arms under your shoulders. I mean, you can, but the problem is, is that um, the movement becomes really unstable and it's not conducive to working in a pendulum kind of environment. You really, really have to have that scarecrow pose down in order to make the anti-spin flowers happen above your shoulders. So before we move completely into anti-spin, I do want to just bookmark something right quick. And that is taking that same exercise that we we're playing with before, where we are kind of spotting and turning, spotting and turning, spotting and turning, and uh, try and make it so that one of those sides, the poi are above your shoulders, and one of those sides, the poi are below your shoulders, because I think it makes for a really great looking trick. That is under, above, under, above, under, above, under, above and that looks great not just like looking down on it but also looking at somebody performing that in wall playing because it gives you those level changes that uh, me personally as a poi dancer i think just look fabulous when you're only seeing the angle of the poi uh, kind of on end and everything, it's easy for it to get a little bit uh, monotonous for the audience. So having level changes like that not only gives the plane of the poi something to do that they can track, but it also makes it interact with your body in ways that I think are really, really good for your audience. Okay, so now let's talk anti-spin flowers. Really what you're looking for here is uh, some older tutorials that I've made on plane breaking uh, because they cover how you get into these. But suffice it to say, um, the thing you're really looking to do here is you're looking to pick four specific uh, kind of road marks or benchmarks that you can hit in the room. And your job is to kind of tag them with the poi as you turn around. Um, one thing that I used to do wrong in performing uh, horizontal anti-spin flowers was like I kind of needed to keep my eye on each end of the poi. So I would do this thing where I would lean over real hard and it made it just made my anti-spin flowers look super awkward. Those of you out there who um, have done work in uh, ballet and the like, you will know which direction I'm going with this because what you want to be able to do is keep your arms out and I think this is like a second. Um, so you can see the fingertips out of the corners of each of your eyes. It means that um, essentially you're tracing out a straight line that is just past your eyes, but it will also make your performance with these flowers more consistent, number one, and number two, you'll be able to keep an eye on what's going on out of each of the corner of your eyes. Beyond that, the other trick we're looking for here is that you're kind of pulling in the poi towards you. Rather than just letting them swing out away from you, in between each of the petals. Now you're going to have to, have to actively, it, it's almost like uh, you're, you're doing like a lap machine at the, uh, at the gym where you're pulling in the poi towards you in between each of those four points. Yeah? 
Of course, the elephant in the room here is that both of these flowers happen in split time same direction. Have I ever done floor plane flowers or horizontal plane flowers that are in a different timing and direction? Um, the short answer is yes. I've done some in together opposites, but they're very hard. And uh, this is more something to try and get you all started on this technique. So we will cover that a different time. For now, try out those two exercises going down, going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, and of course, taking your anti-spins around to those four benchmarks in the room, pulling in on the poi heads every time you make a turn to learn both your in-spin as well as your anti-spin horizontal plane flowers. Yes? Did you get anything out of this video? Are you glad I made it? Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, both to help other people find it, as well as to help my channel grow. And a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these amazing folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the wonderful people listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. If you would like to help me out in my mission to bring flow arts and poise spinning to the wider world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies, bodies as creative individuals, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash directsfactorpoi and signing up. There you can get early access to all of my content, as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus some great extras and behind the scenes content as well. So go check that out. Please and thank you. Did you enjoy this exploration of horizontal plane flowers? Are there other horizontal plane tricks that you would like me to play around with in this very unique camera setup? Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, I will go ahead and include a link to a playlist of other tutorials that I have done down in the description as well as up on screen if you are watching this video on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to go out and flow today. I would love to see some horizontal plane flowers coming out of all you all out there. Uh, thanks again, and uh, I will see you with a new video on Friday. Peace.